Guys, it's done. Hello guys, this is Otter Bricks from Films Come to a brand new look of video today. And well, I just wanted to say it's been a while since the last collaboration project video. I think, I believe it's either between one and two months. And yeah, the, the small village has been a, a big undertaking. It has taken over one and a half months to complete. Um, <laughs> and then like 1900 photos to actually do the brick filming with as you can see behind me you can get, you can get a little um, sneak peek of it but yes this was hard to do I thought it was gonna be pretty easy I thought I could knock it out in like two weeks oh no this I was definitely proven wrong yet again but yeah, in this video we're gonna be, or I'm gonna be showing you basically the process from start to finish, and some of the brick filming uh, that went on during those months, from like um, mid June or sorry, sorry, mid July to basically the start of September, which is about one and a half months. So yeah, let's take a look at how we built the Lego small. Let's go right now. So right now I'm gonna take down the um, hill and just start rebuilding and just curve that part there. So yeah, let's get started on that. I probably won't do a time lapse, just record in between stuff. So yeah, let's get started on that thing. So currently I'm almost done with taking down the entire hill, which I'm going to change just to change it up a little bit. Just make it curve over there. But here's all the parts that I've currently acquired from the hill. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed and keep working on this in the morning. Which will be like literally in a snap. Snap. So as you can see in the time lapse, I am taking down the beachfront section or like the little bit of a cannibal section, which was the last section that I did film. So yeah, I'm just taking it down so I can use all those great parts to actually start to build the small village. So yeah, um, but yeah, that's all I have to say for this time lapse. Just enjoy the rest of it. Right now, I'm taking down the water section. Um... But yeah, now I have a lot of blue bricks that I now can use for all those great things. I primarily use those blue bricks for basically just scaffolding and filler. Um, and then I continued working on the hill, which has a lot of green and filler pieces. So yeah. So I've just completely sorted the um, like the beach area, which I've taken down in that time lapse, as you can see over there. Or that's the tripod that I used. So these are all the parts that I, that unfortunately, <laughs> or well, fortunately came from the thing. So I now can use all these great parts to start work on the small village, which is right over here. So I I'm not actually going to be using. Or, well, I'm going to be using Diagon Alley for the small village. Um, I just really don't know how to build very good buildings. So, yeah, that's going to have to be it. So, I mean, honestly, I feel like Diagon Alley is a pretty good set to use as a small village. Even though it's like the buildings are not scaling or stuff. Honestly, I think it'll work pretty well. So, a couple things I didn't like plan with it was... First, I did know it was only gonna be a base plate so that's why there's just a blank spot there but that's completely fine so i'm just pushing up pushing it off to one side so there we go and i'm also gonna have to change this hill and make it a little bit curved back over there because i don't really want it pushing up right against this wall here just kind of really doesn't look that well um but with this maybe also on maybe a transition here or something like a stand like maybe like those books or something i don't really know but i'm also gonna yet again tear this hill down <laughs> just to rebuild that in i don't know 
kind of getting real, uh, a little repetitive, but I think that's okay. I'm also going to write my name Otter in the back, just as a little thing to do. I don't know. that will be fun. But, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'm also going to have to clean up this table. But, yeah, you don't really, you guys don't really care about that. But I did place the Weasleys. What is it? Uh, Weasley Wizard and Wizards <laughs> or something like that. Uh, the shop there in the corner. I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. And then for the stop motion, I will place a little bit of base plate here and like a maybe like a facade or something here, like something like a backdrop here, just to cover it up. But you won't, you guys won't see the interior and stuff, so that really doesn't matter. But yeah, for filming, I'll just take this out and. Maybe place like a base plate in between. Oh yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe place a gray base plate in between everything. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling right now, but yeah, those are my plans for the small village. This of uh, this is just a little bit of a back shot here and everything. But yeah, hope you like it. So, so currently we are working on the small village scene, and over here, which I have a special plan for. Instead of having a hill here, there's a flat plateau, and then dropping back down. I thought it'd be pretty cool to have like a ravine, literally like walking up here, the steps, and then maybe going down with the waterfall on the side. So I started the pa pathway here. I'm gonna start the outline and everything, just like leading out and everything. I also extended the path work, or like the pathway over here. To the small village. I'm not sure if we're gonna have the gray base plate in between here. Penguin Bricks actually recommended having plates or a smaller type of base plate there. So yeah, Penguin Bricks YouTube channel will be in the description if you wanna check him out. Very good content. Like his Lego Axolotl, but whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll have a ravine here, and then oh, off into the imaginary distance. We will have uh, the castle and moat around it. So, and I'm gonna start working on that over there. So yeah, let's get to work. So this is the current progress on the hill here. As you can see, it has gotten a lot taller than as the last time you saw it. So yeah, it's just. Just to give you like a 360 view of it. Here's the back side. Here. I'm gonna keep trying to write my name. I haven't done that, so this is just from last time. So yeah. Also have a little <laughs> soccer ball there. I don't know. But yeah, wrap right around here. I'm also gonna start building on the other section, like leading to the castle, which is gonna be all the way over there. That will be fun. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this clip right now, in progress. So yeah. So currently, right in this time lapse, I'm just starting to work on the little ravine X uh, section. And at first I was having a little bit of trouble. I'm not entirely sure why, but after here I try to see like what pathway up will look like and over here i start to continue like the um like the transition up to the elevation section because it's actually going to be one brick higher than the actual base plate so that's why i'm elevating it all up as you can see i'm just placing filler plates and the green plates and making it level with the height that i want so yeah So this is the current progress on the um, little ravine here. And I'm working on a river, and I think it's looking pretty good. As you can see, using the tiles that I got from the kick -a brick which was probably in the last video, depending on when this comes out. So I use those transparent 1x2 tiles, and put blue plates on the bottom so it doesn't show the green, and then just put it in like that. And, you, and as you can see, it is looking very nice. I mean, even though it's not completed, it just looks really good right now. But I did realize a fatal mistake. I am going to put a little waterfall in here using these transparent 
one by one trans clear like these like dome tiles or whatever like those we'll get seen in yeah put them like a right around here right around here so yeah just gonna have to build that up i don't know how tall but yeah this will look pretty good i think hopefully but yeah that's the current progress on the small village and ravine so far so yeah so, so it, right now in this time lapse, I am making the waterfall that I previously discussed. First, I started with just like filler plates on the backside and then just placing blue plates to make it look like a waterfall. And then I'm using the blue tiles that I got from the pick a brick um, video and just like placing that and adding lots of details on it. As you can see in like that shot, it looked pretty good. Just trying to add all the details and studs to everything. And that's what makes it look really cool. So yeah, hope you liked it. Also, as you can see in these photos here, are a couple of shots of the finished product of the waterfall. So yeah, I really liked it. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have changed anything about it. Okay, so uh, like fourth time lapse or something. But now, as we can see, I'm just adding the elevation section for the ravine or like that section because it has to be elevated by another brick as you can see on the left side with those plates. So I'm just using any bricks that I have to just place on the ground as you can see I'm placing in the back as well just for some more support. Here's another shot of just me just placing down bricks and plates and I'm starting to place down some green plates to make it look nice and look like the finished product. So yeah hope you liked it oh also in this time lapse i'm continuing placing the green plates just all, all along the sides um i tried to make i spaced out the bricks about one stud just to give it some breathing room because i don't need a, a every brick in every stud because that would just be wasting pieces so that's why you see me placing it in different spots just to reduce the uh, piece count so yeah, hope you liked it. Here's the finished product or one of the finished products of the shots or something. Something like that. So currently we are working on the rock work on the right side. Um, so how I do rock work or just like how my mountains and hills. So I first place the gray plate or brick and then I place filler behind it and then gray brick and then filler. So basically all that you're doing is building on top of each other. So that's how I build my rock work. So as you can see from the multiple time lapses, um, we have gotten this much work done so far. So I'm getting the rock work pretty much all complete there. It's looking pretty good as as you can see i mean it's pretty good i don't know but yeah um i'm gonna keep working on this especially with um keep putting the rock work more up and up and also filling in the gaps here and over there so i don't know we just got basically the base outline but yeah we're i'm also gonna have to build another one of those panels i don't think i've shown you that but yeah there you go it's a pretty good panel. So am I gonna so I'm gonna have to build one on that side. I think it's gonna be somewhere around that size or like that big or something, I don't know. But yeah, and then we'll have so have to have a pathway up and then lean down back down. So yeah, let's get back to work. I'll probably record a time lapse or something. Especially for building the rock work or something. So yeah, that's all the progress I've got right now. Check in later. So continuing where we left off, I just continue just building the rock work up and up and just just keep building it up. I do have enough pieces to complete it. Um, the rock work is just the same again and again. As you can see on this side, it was just a little bit of a little gap. So I just try to fix that. So yeah. So this is the current view of the small village section and I think it is looking pretty good as you can see there as i zoom in you can see the waterfall and rock work 
is looking very good. I am very impressed with myself. But let's take a look of what I've completed in those time lapse. So this is actually my first time looking at it from over here. And oh my gosh, it does look so much better. Looks so well, so good. Whew! But yeah, from the little like four second time lapse, just added a little, um, little section there. I didn't really want to do it for some reason, but yeah, Penguin Bricks pointed out that I should, oh, oops, connect it to the building to make it look a little bit more natural or something. So, yeah. The only problem is there's a little bit of blue on this side, but I think it's, I think it's okay. Cause if I ever do like an interior shot, probably do like uh, that building or that one over there. So I don't think it really matters, but it is looking nice so far, but yeah. So right now in this time lapse, I'm just placing filler plates behind the rock work because it actually does need to be elevated by one brick and one plate more. I'm just using filler plates. As you can see, I've been getting pretty desperate. I've been just scraping and clawing, just trying to find any filler plate that actually fits the correct measurements that I have. So I think I'm going to start working on the, like, the rest of this rock work here just to get it done. So yeah, I'll probably record a time lapse. I also got some more parts so over there. So that's good. But yeah, I'm ready to get started on this. So yep, in this time lapse, I'm just working on the rock work that I have. And unfortunately, I did run out of parts. So I don't know how I always run out of parts. Like I have so many parts, but somehow I run out of them. So yeah i'm just gonna have to probably buy some more but yeah that's all i have to say for this time lapse so currently right now i'm actually going to be working on the hill here i've actually got a plan um or something planned out for here i'm actually gonna make it a little bit taller so yeah, I'll share with I'll share that with you very soon. The reason why I'm going to be working on the hill instead of this over here is because I have ran out of gray pieces. As you can see in this very short time lapse of me doing this here. So yeah, that's unfortunate, but I can also do that snot piece there. No, it's not paneling. So I can do that, but I don't know, I don't really want to do that right now, so I'm gonna put that off. But yeah, everything is going pretty good. I'll get you a wide shot over there. So yeah, I'm also going to be detailing like the gra or like this base plate here, just because it's a little bit boring. Because like, oh, it's not that very interesting. So I'm gonna put probably put in a couple of trees or put some like detailing pieces like that or some just like grass pieces. So yeah, let's work on the hill. So I guess I decided to work on the little like small village section. So for this that I'm working with, I'm just making a little pathway. This was just a little bit of a prototype to see what it would look like. I was not very happy with it, probably because it just blended in the light gray, just blended in with the base plate, as you can see. It's kind of hard to see. The only thing that really like pops out of your eye is the dark gray. So that's probably what really like set it off. So that's why I did not use it. So yeah, I just wanted to show this cool little prototype that I did. So right now I think I'm gonna start work on the detailing for this path over here. Just adding some like, uh, some foliage pieces like that. And let's see where the other pieces are over here. Just some of those or something. Just, uh, you know, spice it up over here. Also maybe add some trees or something. I'm also going to add a campfire on the top. Um, I'll explain that later, but maybe also a couple of tree or two right around there and things. But yeah, let's get to work.
Maybe do time lapse. Again, I guess I did not decide to work on the hill, but on this time lapse, I'm just working on the pathway details. As you can see, I'm just adding some flower pieces that I got from um, the online pick a brick wall. So I'm just adding details. This was pretty fun, I guess, since I'm just placing down little pieces. So that's what I liked. So actually, it's been quite some time since I recorded the last clip. As you can see, pretty much the entire hill is complete. And of course, I'm having problems with the elevation. Typical otter. I don't know why it's happening again. It's probably because I didn't put supports because it's probably slanting back. But yeah. But anyways, I've actually fully placed green bricks on the side. So you don't see the ugly filler brick. And on the back side, I actually wrote my name, Otter. So that's cool. Uh, not that happy with the um, with the R, but I don't know. I also could have raised the the both of the T's up by another, or by up another two bricks to reach the height of these. But at the end of the day, I think it's all right. But this is so flipping cool. So I'm just taking a little bit of I'm just taking some photos right now, but yeah, uh, nothing else changed over here Yep, nothing else, but I will probably do a pathway between Diagon Alley Diagon Alley Just because I don't know to spice everything up I've also been planning out some of the other scenes and Writing this script for it. So yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm also going to be changing up the castle section, so yeah, you'll have to <laughs> stay tuned for that, but yeah, I like that I actually wrote my name there, looks cool, but yeah. So well, for the past uh, hour to 30 minutes, I've been just scraping through bins and bins of parts, just trying to find anything that will work for the collaboration project, because I still need parts for over here. As you can see, it's been going pretty good. So I've been just mostly trying to find gray, because we are pretty much out of gray. So, I mean, yeah, just going through all the bins and stuff, and this is all the gray bricks that I've found. Pretty good, some par pretty good parts. Um, a lot of one by ones, two by twos, just miscellaneous stuff like this. House found this like cool arch. And over here, just like random gray pieces I thought I would find interesting. Maybe just for like details or something like that. Slopes, this um, plate, wedge plates, or. Even this cool unofficial piece. So, yeah. Some transparent blue pieces. Some tan. Um, I found some animals here. <laughs> like a... This guy, a scorpion, fish. And... Yeah, just some nature pieces there. Cool, some, like some cool pieces there. But, yeah, this is pretty much everything I've been doing for the last, like hour or so but yeah i mean tomorrow i will work on that over there so yeah probably record a time lapse for it and i guess i'll see you guys in two seconds so yeah i'm gonna go to bed though probably well, let's check the time check the time on my the clock over here oh dang it's 10.48. Guess I gotta go to bed. Um, but yeah. I'll just work on that tomorrow. Um, just more details. Add trees there. Write the script for the, uh, small village, so. Yeah, still gotta work on that. Oh my gosh, but. Yeah, I'll get through this. I know I will. If I work hard enough and put the hours in, I will do it. But, it's just a matter of time if I do it and everything i just have all the resources available at my fingertips but yeah and then after this um we'll 
add a password going up here. Probably a little bit of a um, like a elevation here, and then go back down. And I was thinking maybe adding a desert, but I'm not sure since I uh, been sorting some like tan pieces over there. You can see I zoomed in there, but I could do that. I'm not sure. And then I just have to do the uh, castle, which I did actually change up. I still need to design that. So, yeah, I guess this is a little bit of a longer clip, but I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in two seconds. I was also just like on my chair in the back section of the mock, like on the back side. And I'm not sure if I actually recorded anything, but I do have. I did at the back of the hill. I did engrave my name into it. So, Otter! I'm not sure if I actually recorded something for it, but... But, yeah. It looks really good. Um, but yeah, it was pretty easy. The only hard part was... Really, the R. It really does not look like an R. But, I think it's okay. Um, T is good. I wish I brought it up, like, two more bricks up there and everything. But, yeah. This is, like, this little panel that this little like won't line up completely flush with everything but honestly in the long run it doesn't matter also um since this set is so big i actually had to buy more poster boards so i got that from the dollar store also i got two blue and then two black so i might also have to actually film it on the floor since this is Oh, this is way too big. I'm not even sure if I'm going to have enough room. But, probably just bring in more of these fold-up tables and they come in clutch. Or just, like, bring another, like, just a table or something. But, yeah, I probably will bring in another table because I, I don't really want to sit on the floor. Um, still got to write the script. Um, I'll do that, like, right now while I go outside or something. But, yeah. Just wanted to kind of talk to the camera for a little bit. So, yeah. So, as you may know, the extra base plate for here actually does overhang the table. So, I actually needed to bring in a like a small folding table, just one that I randomly found. And I sometimes actually use it for some other projects, but that's beside the fact. So, I actually, since it's overhanging, I put this little Lego contraption to actually hold it up. So, the main structure is just Duplo. Here, we just basically have a joist running, um, uh, like a big, like, 2x8 Duplo brick there, and then just, like, 2x4 Duplos, and then just supports in there. Pretty much runs along the entire base plate, and then when I slide it in, let me place the camera down quick, and when I slide it in, fully flush against the back. It was pretty good. Now it's not as now it doesn't like um warp or something, but yeah, we just have this little table here. I probably will add another like section above it. Like over here. But that's until later in fact. I also finished the uh rock work for this over here. So that's pretty good. I actually used a um little like stand here, so I measured the back with this and found out how tall it is so it's that tall with the brown then after that i took it over here went to the back and saw it was the same height so that's how i knew it was that's when i knew that i needed to stop building also another thing that i did add was this little back um this like black background so, as I move around here, shuffle, shuffle, there's actually a, if you ever got Diagon Alley, um, there's a pathway to Nocturne Alley. I'll zoom in here. And it's usually just open, so I just need to add a, or I just added a black background in the back to cover that up over there. And I think it turns, or I think it turned out pretty good. So, um, pretty much the last thing I need to do for small villages First, build some trees over here. PTSD flashbacks from the forest. <laughs> uh, figure out the path where what I'm going to do with this over here. I don't really like the gray. I 
Probably will remove that though. Uh, finish the pathway with the gr or, sorry brown plates. Finish the snot paneling for the rock work there. And then add a small staircase up and then fill in those gaps. But yeah, it is turning out really good so far. Hope you like it. So right now I'm working on the um, small village section. Section, sorry. And then I built this little snot panel here. As you can see right there. Looks pretty good. It was uh, only six studs wide. Let's see, I used some like binocular pieces and just a lot of slopes and cheese slopes and wedges to make it look very cool. But probably gonna be, you're probably wondering what we are going to be doing in that section right over there. So we're gonna actually do a pathway up here. Um, my original plan was doing something like using these plates and then just like stack kind of like that. But it's kind of like I don't know. I, it's kind of, well, like, really doesn't look good, or that's not really like, what I want. Because also you're going to see, like, oh, shoot. <laughs> no. Um, you're also going to see the uh, filler, like, here. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to do, uh, take a strategy or strat that I use from the um, forest and just use panels, or, sorry, plates, and then just do it like that. I think that's just gonna be the best way. I'm also gonna do a pretty cool scene, like where a boulder is coming down. So yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get uh, to work on that right now. Maybe record a time lapse or something. But yeah, here's the backside. Just have everything. But yeah, let me get to work on it. So I start to work on extending the platform out. Since I do know I do not have enough room, I just add a brick layer and then another plate layer just to add that extra elevation because I do need it. And then I start prototyping with how tall or how I'm going to support the, the platform up. So yeah. So as you can see in this time lapse, I start working on the pathway up. First, I start to work on the gaps in between because there is a two stud or like a one brick gap. So I need to fill that in to make sure there is no cracks or crevices. As you can see, I'm just trying to add details or use whatever pieces I have to fill in those gaps. So yeah. So as you can see in the time lapse, I've been working hard on the little gaps, uh, especially here because there's like a um, two, two stud gaps between the platform. So I wanted to um, fill those in with the gray. So yeah, you can see it is very successful. There's some gaps. Um, as you might see, I'll try to zoom in. Wait, oh, actually, there's a small gap right there, as you can see. But that's not the end of the world, and I think that's okay. Honestly, I think it looks pretty good so far, of all things considered. As you can see, I also had to add an extra platform because I knew that this platform was not nearly enough to actually support this. So, yeah, this is just the backside if you want to see. Nothing much, or... Er, Nothing that pretty, but another thing I have to realize is that I have to bring the waterfall up just um, a couple of bricks um, and then have to like elevate all of this. So yeah, that's going to be a lot of work, but I think it's, but yeah, I'm, but yeah, hopefully I can finish it before Friday because I'm actually going to be leaving for another trip. So yeah, um, but yeah, hopefully we can film it. I will write the script. I've been like procrastinating about it for like days now, but yeah. Um, also another thing, like the waterfall is a little bit shaky, but honestly it's okay. Um, but yeah, that should be everything. So yeah. So currently we are working on the finishing touches for the small village section, which will hopefully be complete tonight. I am not completely sure. So yeah, as you can see over here, we have basically finished the pathway with lots of trees and everything. So I'll show you the look at it. That's pretty much everything. I also put some trees up here. I still need to make like a little campfire scene here. So yeah, just try to fill in this place with some trees, just like some green greenery. You know, the pathway, this is like the newest development here. So we've been trying to make like some little stance and stuff like as you can see there, like making a little like music thing. 
maybe with like a um, piano or a cello there and some other stands and stuff. And then over here, um, there's not really much. I'll just show you quickly. Oh, so there's like some gaps. So I filled it in with like one by ones and bricks and stuff. So like just like slopes and other stuff. So yeah, um, just some other stuff. This place is a mess. The Lego room is a mess, as you can see. A bin fell over and stuff. Parts on the ground, but yeah, we'll have to finish. I want to finish it tonight, but. I'm not sure if that's a possibility. I'm hoping it is so we can actually get film with this because, yeah, well, this section is getting very big, very fast. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do this. So, But anyways, I should probably get back to work. Just wanted to record a clip about it. So, yeah. Also, also another thing that I am doing is um, if I zoom in here, I'm just like filling in the gap there because there is a small gap as you can see. So I'm gonna try to fill that in with some just like gray pieces. Just like gray bricks and everything. So yeah, I just wanted to you know let you guys know about that. So But yeah, just from just like uh going off of the last clip, yeah, I'm gonna try to film it today. Um I'm gonna quickly probably finish this script before I eat breakfast. Um, and then just like maybe grab another like folding table here or something just for like back over here. Cause, cause I'm, like, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put poster boards and everything. Um, just thinking. Probably only put the poster boards on this side. Cause I'm not gonna need it on that side. But I will need it there and there and then back oh jeez, i'm gonna need a lot of post boards but probably bring a lot more i'm gonna bring in more tables because i definitely need the extra room and space so i think i have enough tables hopefully i do i don't know whatever i'll figure it out but yeah here's a pretty cool look from the back shot there Wow, looks really nice. I'm just, I'm just taking some photos. But wow, just look nice. Anyways, I'm gonna go up to breakfast. To... Anyway, see ya. So it's been actually a long time since I actually recorded the last clip. It is, the last clip that I did record was on Friday, like Friday at five or 6 p.m. And right now it is, well, let's just check on the Chima guy. What time is it? Saturday at 9.04, so, yeah, so about, yeah, a lot of hours have passed, so, um, it may, even though it may not seem like a lot has happened, I did do a lot of detail work, um, especially with, like, with the path and stuff, so, that's some more, like, foliage pieces and everything, more foliage and stuff, I actually did the campfire, looks pretty good, it looks alright, mediocre, also added more camp stalls, or, like, stuff to over here, so, little music stage, that's that's the thing that I actually built over there. So it looks pretty good. Also, I did this. I completed the pathway up there. Added a little couple more trees. Also, had some more foliage. I did this like pretty cool um, four leaf thing. So three leaves like that, and then one on top. So yeah, and then the pathway up, and then yeah, a tree and stuff. Maybe add a little bit more details there. I'm not sure. I still have some more pieces that I could do, but the only thing that I really need to do is clean up everything. As you can see, it is big mess. Actually, a bin fell too, so yeah, I'm gonna have to pick that up. And then, yeah, just clean up everything. I still have to make a boulder, because there's gonna be like a boulder. One of the agents push boulders down. And John has to like slice in half with his sword. But yeah. This is pretty much a view from everything. Um, I'm going to try to film it today. I still need to write the script, which is really bad planning on my part. Um, I didn't account for everything because I'm actually going to go on a trip um, tomorrow. So I mean, we're leaving tomorrow, so I don't have a lot of time to do everything. So that's why I'm kind of rushing. And then uh, this video is probably going to be out already, but 
I'm hoping to do a, like a takedown live stream. A uh, live stream, well, taking down everything. So, yeah, that should be pretty fun. Maybe have a couple guests on, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if everyone's busy or something. But, yeah, this is pretty much all the work so far. So currently, I'm just setting up for a live stream, and you can see I'm right here in the studio of StreamYard. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, you can see I got it up, and it should be up in like five hours. So yeah, that's exciting. Can't wait for the stream. Woohoo! So it's been a while since I recorded a clip. I think it was like the live stream, but yeah, I'm almost done with filming. I just need to film this area here. And then I can finally take it down. Probably won't record me taking it down, but maybe a time lapse or two. But yeah, that should be fun. I'll probably take it outside since it's nice weather. Let me see if I can show you guys outside. Oh, nice weather. <laughs> but yeah, probably get back to work and just keep filming. I am, um, I think I took like 1,200 photos so far so like 1200 photos so yeah it's nice to have or just it's just really nice to talk to the camera since i haven't done this in a while but yeah filming's filming is going pretty good i would say uh not too many problems except the dragon that was like really hard to animate like, since it just kept falling over but yeah anyways i'll see you soon uh, guys, I literally just finished filming like two seconds ago, and I'm so happy. Woo! So now I just need to put back like all these stuff, like over there, to just to get like the thumbnail of the photo. Like, I gonna take somehow I didn't take a photo of if it of it all finished. So that was kind of a mistake on my part. So I'm gonna go do that quick. But yeah, anyways, see ya. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you liked it. I definitely had a lot of fun building this small village. Well, small village since it's really Diagon Alley. But yeah, on um, the next up will probably be the castle section, which hopefully, knock on wood, I'm knocking on wood on this table, will be done by the end of September. I'm hoping today is September 6th or 7th, I'm not sure. But hopefully, it is done by then. Knowing me, it probably won't, but I hope that it will be done. But anyways, I hope you like watching this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. This is Otter, Brooks, and Films. Bye-bye!